Hello YouTube, this is Sam Gerrans from QuarterNight.com. Today is Friday the 1st of June 2018 and today I want to sort of summarize what it is I've, I suppose I've been doing and what it is I'm now planning to do. Uh, so this isn't really sort of a, a teaching as it were, it's more of a personal uh, chat. I'll try to keep it quite short. Um, it's going to mean more or less depending on how much you know about my work but fundamentally if you've read the the preface to to my work the Quran a complete revelation I really lay out in that one page uh, what it is that I'm about and that hasn't changed um, my thesis is that the Quran if it be from God and I believe that it is contains a very clear uh, protocol a way of dealing with uh, tyrannical, uh, usurpatious, and uh, uh, d degenerate societies, and it's not uh, the setting up of a religion called Islam or anything, or the religion that's today called Islam or anything like that. It's um, a, a process by which the the ruling elite are warned, sometimes by usually by messengers and prophets and etc. But not in not always, and there are cases where they're just you know normal human beings un, <coughs> not prophets not you know messengers whatever you mean by that perform that that role and i've uh, outlined quite a few of those uh, in in well certainly in my work and also in, in youtube videos and so on now there have, whilst that's been the, the main drive of what i've wanted to do and remains the main drive that i have uh, i suppose been tempted along other lines one of them was i thought about setting up a community a, a physical community for Quran, you know for quran alone believers and my 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 sort of summary my conclusion is that this isn't possible at least not without major patronage and i i don't and that isn't happening and i don't believe it is going to happen and maybe that's all right and maybe that's fine um <clears throat> The next best thing that I could do was to create meetquarternights.com, which I have done, which provides a place for people to basically just to make initial contact. It isn't. It isn't a. It isn't really a forum. It isn't really a talking. It isn't a talking shop. It's where you can make basically you know message contact with people, and then the, the next step is to pick up the phone or me to go for a coffee, whatever it is trying to force people into the real world because th th there are very many heroes um, you know anonymous heroes I, I deal with more than my fair share of them and when people get real it, it changes and that that's what I was trying to, to sort of promote with that so that's what I've, I've done that I've tried to get radio interviews uh, I have a background in media I incidentally used to be a radio um, writer and producer and presenter uh, for in, in in for Russian uh, it's now called Sputnik Radio but uh, when I worked there it was called uh, Golos Rasi um, Voice of Russia I worked there for a couple of years so, so <clears throat> you would think it would be quite easy for me to get uh, to get radio interviews because knowing what I know I've really carried around this burden for a, a long time of you know, let's say, let's say, just consider for a moment that my my general thesis is correct. I felt very um, concerned that I should reach a, a, a you know a bigger number of people, and I've really tried to. And the, either I am just summarily ignored, and I don't mean I've been even. I understand how the game works. I haven't been going to like big radio stations like you know coast to coast and stuff like this no 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 i'm talking about you know internet shows just you know, thirty thousand subscribers something like that or you know however many it is <clears throat> excuse me um on on topics that you would think they would really want to talk to you about and i've just been uh, pretty much usually ignored or you get into a conversation and once they discover that it's about anything to do with uh, islam or certainly criticisms thereof <coughs> excuse me the line goes dead so you know i mean i can i can do what i can do and other people have been recommending me as well to to shows that they like and it it goes down pretty much to nothing so you know you can you can try what you can try but at the same time um we have an expression in russian um that you can't jump higher than your own head and and, and that's 
simply you know the case you you can do what you can do and you can put the efforts in but but that is you know how it is um and this has been especially hard as i say because um i felt a responsibility to make what i've been doing available to more more people but i it's it's been quite hard for me to you know sort of bite the bullet of my own conclusions and if you do understand what the God protocol is and what it is I'm talking about, about this process, this Quranic process of warning the elite, then perhaps you'll, uh, to some extent, share my my fear about this. And if you don't fear it, then, then and if you understand it and you don't fear it, then you're a fool. Because we're talking about, you know, this isn't a hobby, you see, and it never was for me. This is a, a process of of a paradigm shift before, as, as I see it, the, the New World Order bring in something which cannot be overthrown. What what I'm discussing in this, I think we're the last generation of people who will not be able to understand the question, let alone present an answer. And I think it's that serious. I really do. But I, in some ways I've been, I've been dragging my feet on this because it's uh, the significance is not lost on me, and frankly, you know, I find myself walking around and looking at people in the street, and thinking, well, you know, they're perfectly good people, and you know, a, a, a baby laughing and this, that, and the other. The world's not as terrible as it might appear to be. However, you know, that was also the case. I'm sure in the time of Noah, of Lot, of uh, you know, I'm sure there were, I'm sure there were very, you know gurgly giggly babies you know in, in Sodom and Gomorrah etc um, however this God works in the way that he works and um, I don't claim to like it <laughs> and I don't like it but it is what it is and there's a job to do so I, I've also been dragging my feet somewhat <laughs> and taken some time as people who follow this channel will know to address what I call the truther community. These are people who, who really get what's going on. They get, you know, they get 9-11, they get chemtrails, they get vaccines. They understand this. You don't have to, you know, go over these elementary things with them. They understand all of that. And it was my uh, hope that it would be possible that having understood those things, I could present the, the Quranic evidence to them um, and to show that the no matter what they think, it doesn't matter how many people wake up. This is an, a ludicrous um, lie. It's <laughs> and as I've I've gone over this in other material, so I'm not going to rehash it all here. And that the God protocol, the warning the elite process, is the only rational response. This is in the circumstances. Over the last uh, couple of weeks, especially as we've gone into this year's month, which is commonly known am amongst traditionalist Muslims, <coughs> excuse me, as Ramadan. I've made a few videos addressing them because I am of the, the opinion that there are a lot of well-meaning and very sincere people in all kinds of cults and uh, that there are in this one too. I've also made videos about cults. You know, I've tried to sort of, <clears throat> sort of as it were, scattergun my, <laughs> my attentions. Um, but, but, and this is really the point of the video here, I'm not in the entertainment business and, and you know, and I'm, I'm really not. And I, I didn't give up what I was doing before to to entertain. I've worked as a journalist, and journalism is entertainment. It's one of the reasons, one of the reasons why I left it, because you 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 can't say what you need to say. And well, I worked within within a, an area where I could say what I wanted to say. But when when I was no longer allowed to say, uh, I'll be specific uh, on two subjects. I wasn't allowed to write about vaccines, and I was forbidden about uh, talking about nine eleven as an inside job. Once that was once I was told that, I quit. That was it. I said I'm not going to do this anymore. Um, so I I understand that you know that it is it is a you know it's it's that. Journalism is entertainment. It's the longest running soap opera. And I've also worked in public relations, so I understand how how these sort of, you know, mass manipulations work. I'm also, surprisingly, you may be surprised by this, I'm not here to make money. There are many, many much better ways of making money than antagonizing potentially at least 1.6 billion Muslims. Believe it or not, <laughs> it's the truth. So that isn't why I've been doing this at all. Um, 
I'm not here and I haven't been here and it's not my intention and I do not enjoy it um, wrangling with theological hobbyists. I, I, if you were, if you were on the receiving end of what I'm on the receiving end of, you know, it wears very thin, very, very, very quickly. It's incredibly dull, and it's, you know, the, the, a lot of people out there they 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 live and breathe this, and it's a sort of part parlor game to them, and <clears throat> they're relentless, <laughs> and they also don't appear to have anything else in, in going on in their lives. Um, I, I do and have other things going on in my lives and I'm really not interested in and it, it's been very tough you know psychologically in my nervous system to put up with this constant barrage of you know nit pickers and, and and so on and you know it's not like they're out there creating their own stuff or if they but they, they want they come and find you and then they want to argue with you I mean why why anyway whatever move on next as they say so and I'm not even here um contrary to popular belief to antagonize brand islam it, it just happens to be something that kind of goes with the territory of what i was focused on i'd be doing what i'm doing now if i'd found the quran in a box on the mountainside and that if islam had never existed i i have to i have to critique brand islam to some extent or i've had to in order to do this job but Am I particularly interested in it? No. And am I trying to save it? No, I'm not. It's for me. It's just another. It's just another cult, like Freemasons, like um, I don't know, like the Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, you know, it, it, I, and I know there are very good people who are in it, um, or like democracy. I like democracy. You know, democracy. It's it's a it's a brainwashing. You know petri dish that's all it is as far as i'm concerned i mean if you differ you're very welcome to your opinion and you know god bless you and all the rest of it but that's my view um so i'll return now to what my main point here is which is that to me it's as clear as the nose on your face that the quranic method is to warn the elite to repent to god alone not to repent to an islamic religion not to you know start making everyone wear hijab not to you know to repent to God alone. This this is actually, read Surah 7. Read Surah 7. Just read this one Surah with your eyes open. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. And it's nothing, it's not dependent upon me or my translation or anything to do with this. It's This is just it, okay? And, but people don't read. They've been, this is how, this is how um, basically hypnosis works is that you can be tricked into not seeing what's there and this is what religions do they trick people into not seeing what the scripture actually says the Christians suffer from it the Jews suffer from it and the, the, the Muslims suffer from it but one of the great things is is when somebody comes along so it's sort of you know banging a gong and then says look at that what is it that you actually see here and you finally get it when you, somebody says, look, the emperor's got no clothes, and everyone goes, that's right. You can't unsee this. You cannot unsee it. And I, I don't care whether you accept or people accept you know, the work that I've done on the linguistics of the Quran, on the hermeneutical process of the Quran, or any of that huge amount of work. That's not really, you know, they're, 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 that's not key. They can't deny this. They cannot. Um, and even the claim that oh well you know only prophets can do this only messengers can do this not true and uh, that's been summarily you know dispatched in my work as well yeah i'm not going to you know i can't remember which video it is but if you look through my stuff you'll find that i've dealt with this it's not true you know just average joes people non-profits non-messages messengers have done this so this is the process <clears throat> and secondly once that's happened once the once the, the trigger's pulled, then the punishments of God become binding. It doesn't say they become binding immediately. Who knows? I have no idea. I have no idea. But I do know that that's the Quranic method. And I do know that the Quran says that the Sunnah of God does not change. Now, you may not like it. And I again, I may not like it. In fact, I don't like it. And if I will alive if I'd been born 50 years earlier, I wouldn't be doing this. I really, really wouldn't. I, I don't have some sort of bizarre you know, need to, to, to do this sort of thing. 
I would be much, much, much happier in you know <laughs> doing other things. The only reason I'm doing it is because I can read a book with my eyes open, and I can think for myself, and you know I can analyse things, and that's one part of it. The second part of it is I do understand the horrific state of the world right now, and I do understand where it's going, and it's going to a prison camp. They're destroying the West. They're raising the, the third world countries somewhat. They are going to absolutely drop the hammer on the United States. And they're bringing in a, you know, a, a, a satanic um, tyranny, uh, which is going to make Stalinism look like a walk in the park. Now, I've lived in formerly Stalinist countries, and I know what it was like, so... You know, maybe I just have you know a window on some of these things that's uh, that that you know that you don't. But what I can say is, you don't want that. And just because you've got an iPhone and access to you know nightclubs and so on and so forth, and you can entertain yourself all day long, doesn't mean that this is going to continue forever. It's not. This we're in the cheese in the mouse trap phase. But once they drop the hammer, which they will, and it can happen so easily because everything's been centralized, you know. It, then, then you're going to wake up and feel, you know, the, the iron fist beneath the, you know, the silk glove. Now, all of this is dealt with by other people ad nauseum. And if you've spent the last twenty years, the internet years, looking at uh, football and, um, you know, Kim Kardashian, then you've really wasted your time. So all that information's out there. I'm not going to rehash that because that's not the key focus. My key focus is the solution. So. Again, while the implications of the the God protocol, if it if the Quran be true and if this be correct, which you know it is correct, uh, then the implications of this are not immediate ob, me, immediately obvious to most people. And by most people, I mean the entertainment junkies, uh, I mean people who follow this channel, some uh, theological hobbyists, or uh, mainstream Muslims. But they are clear to me. And I think they're clear to a, a number of people who, who follow my channel and know my work. So again, to understand this and realize now that this is on a, a worldwide scale, you see all of the previous destructions, and I think even the, the destruction of the people of Noah, I think these were localized. Um, I'm not going to get into the Noah question right now. It, it doesn't really matter whether it was, you know, it was worldwide or localized. It's, it's worldwide this time. And as I go through my work, what I'm going to be doing now, moving forward, is presenting each of the archetypes, each of the historical um, examples of destruction and relating it to where we are now. Because I think that, well, I, well, no, I think I know <laughs> that each of those examples actually actually correlates with something which we're doing usually on a worldwide scale now, which leads me to the inevitable conclusion that if this mechanism is right, if this God protocol is correct, then it's worldwide this time. Now imagine carrying that round with you all day long. So if you understand what I'm talking about, you perhaps you have some, you know, some comprehension of what it is to be me. Anyway, moving on. I may, I may uh, still make occasional videos addressing brand Islam questions but my focus from now on is going to be the God protocol both outlining it and if I can get support implementing it and once that process is finished I'm going to consider my work done uh, I don't know how long it's going to take you know it might take a year it might take six 18 months I don't know everything takes a lot longer than you ever think it's going to be usually with projects multiplied by three and you, you're pretty much there but this is going to be the focus okay Unless something very significant happens after that, the, the God will either implement the destruction which the Quran outlines, or he won't. Uh, however, the fact is that once that warning has taken place, Quranically speaking, destruction can take place at any time after that. That is the Quranic method. If you, I, I don't even, uh, you, know, you don't even have to read my work, read any translation of, let's just take Surah 7. Start when you find the people of Noah and then just you know, just iterate through 
you know, various, 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 various civilizations or communities that were destroyed. If you can read that and then come back to what I'm saying and not see that I'm, you know, I'm talking sense, well, you know, we, we've, you know, we've obviously we're very we're wired in very different ways. If it does, if if that's what happens, I mean, you see, also it's it's a bit of a hard sell, isn't it? You know, hey, everybody, let's <laughs> let's do this. And best case scenario, the you know the world comes to an end. Yeah, I think people don't really understand that how this works um, and you know what where you have to be psychologically in order to drop the hammer on this it's 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 a tough one psychologically it's you know if you could just pause for a moment and consider what I'm really talking about you know so anyway to continue if that does happen you know if 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 that's right if that's correct then and then it's the judgment, isn't it? Um, if it doesn't happen immediately afterwards, then I'm going to find something else to do. Um, if we fail to get the support that we need to complete the job, then I'm going to consider that an answer in itself. You know, you can only you can only do what you can do. You, as I said before, you can only jump as high you know as your, as your own head. In Russian, we say this: you can't jump higher. I'm not going to beat myself up over it. I mean, I have had uh, a few supporters and I'm very appreciative of them. Without them, I couldn't have continued to do what I'm doing. There's no question about that. But I don't intend to live like, you know, on this basis for forever. I've got other things I want to do. And if having, if we're able to implement this and if we're able to get the, the support for it, uh, having done it, I'm going to do something else. And because I'm interested in other things, I shall continue to practice uh, a life as as close to that of a pious believer that I can. Um, I'm certainly going to continue to study um, both the Quran and and other things. Um, but you know, I'm not going to carry on sort of banging the same drum. Uh, I don't see the point. Um, and also, what isn't going to happen is me endlessly making videos on a sort of entertainment basis. I've presented my work. I've made it available free. Um, you know, that's just isn't going to happen. What may happen is that I, if you know, if having gone through this God Protocol stage, um, and see the thing is, once you have to understand is, once this happens, it doesn't mean I have no idea. I, I mean, who am I? I'm just somebody who can read a book, right? After this, then the God, the, bind, the the punishments of God become binding. This is the Quranic method. It doesn't mean they happen immediately. I have no idea. I'm I am just uh, you know somebody who can read a book. <laughs> so I don't know, I, and I don't I don't know. However, if if you know if we still you know we wake up in the morning, things just carrying on. I'm going to keep busy. I'm going to keep busy in, until my end comes. And the way I'm going to do that, if if things continue, is um, I don't know. I'm going to, I'll probably start a business of doing something else that I'm I'm interested in. I, I, I haven't really decided yet, but I've I've got some ideas. But what I'm not going to do is spend the rest of my life dealing with trolls and haters and death threats and anonymous heroes and you know these sort of people who've got their pet theories and you've no idea how tedious it is and there are just so many other things that I'm more interested in and secondly uh, you know I I just want to create something else and uh, you know do something else I want to finish this and I'm going to finish this God gives me the strength to do it but if I have God grants me a life beyond that I'm going to do something else. So I've been very grateful and, you know, I am continue to be grateful truly for the support that that I, you know, we do receive. But this isn't something I want to be doing, you know, forever and ever uh, by any means. Um, so really, I'm, I suppose I'm serving no, notice that after making a couple of sort of detours into trying to sort of address people who are from the truth of communities and various other communities having tried to you know set up a community having tried to do um, to address traditionalist muslims and so on having tried to uh, 
get sort of broaden the reach through radio stuff I can only do what I can do with the resources that I've got and that's it you know I'm, I, I'm not going to sort of sit here beating myself up over it I know that I've done what I can do and that's what you take to God isn't it you know you, you want to go with a clear conscience and that's that's what I intend to do so but you know I, you can only do what you can do so that's what I've attempted to do um however if we don't get the support for this okay but i'm going to i'm going to this is going to be my presentation from now on um, as i say i may uh afterwards set up some sort of patreon thing um, but this will be purely for people who really want to study and it will be something that i would do in combination with whatever else it is I do and because I want to do it I th I think that what I would do at that stage is teach a small number of teachers um, who are genuinely interested but it is not going to be sort of like a talking shop and endless debates it's just people who want to learn my work and it will you know I, I'm realistic it would be a small number of people but I would I would consider doing that as a as a a way of going through all of the verses of my work and you know outlining verbally all of that work so that people can just listen to it but you know that's not a full-time job and for me it would just it, it would be a way of making that available probably later downstream anyway for free and um something that i can do on a saturday morning <laughs> When I, you know, so the, I'm just sort of lay, laying out before you where I am with this. Um, you know, I, I'm I know this is YouTube world, and everybody thinks it's all just free and entertainment, and people aren't real. We have a real life, and you know, I set out to do a, a specific job. Uh, it's not to save brand Islam. It's not to to, to change the minds of lots and lots of people it was to present this and if god gave me the ability to to warn the elite as per the quranic instructions now if that isn't going to be possible if we don't get the support for that one day somebody will get what i'm talking about one day somebody will get it and if it's i who do it or somebody else does it it really doesn't matter to me but my job is to deliver this concept and to make this concept people start to get it because it's the paradigm shift that we need and i can only do what i can do so that's what i'm going to focus on i'm not going to beat myself up over not being able to start a community not being able to raise huge amounts of money not being able to get onto you know radios and blah 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 i'm just going to focus on what i can do what i'm meant to do and as i say after that i'm going to stop because don't unless you know have some you know major reason not to because i'm i've had you know i haven't got anything else to say <laughs> so, so yeah that's exactly it and this isn't this isn't um this isn't hugely enjoyable for me um i'm not one of these people who wants to wrangle and wrangle forever and ever I, you know i don't you know go onto other people's sites and find some little nitpicky thing that i can pick on and then jump on and start spamming them and sending them hate mail so you know i really don't when i'm when i'm not doing this or studying or whatever uh, I'm, I'm just not involved in it because i don't find it particularly interesting but not everyone is the same as that i hope that makes sense and i again i would like to thank those people who do support us over this and have done and and those who will continue over this period most don't of course most 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 don't but those who do literally we couldn't do what we've done especially over the last year and a half two years without your support there's no question about that and you know you don't have to but if you do wish to continue support us as we go over this you know this god protocol period fantastic but thereafter frankly once that's done you know you should stop because <laughs> there isn't you know i'm going to be stopping too so i just wanted to outline this um i hope i've made it my made it clear and um and i wish everyone all the very best that's all for now if you're listening on youtube you can download my full translation of the quran free using the button in the top right hand corner or buy the hard copy there at 10 percent less than on amazon 
I also encourage you to sign up for the Coronite Plus newsletter on the site to get occasional micro updates. You can download the audio from my YouTube videos to your mobile device using the links in the drop down below. I recommend meetquranites.com to connect with other Quran alone believers. Like if you like, comment if you have something constructive to say, and subscribe to get more each week. And use the link in the drop down below to donate if you would like to help me keep doing this. And remember, this life is short, eternity is long. If you want good trees, plant good seeds. <laughs>